Well, it's about a month later, and uh, we got the new brushes for this guy. They came all the way from China, and I actually got two sets of brushes because um, it just turns out that this drill, this Milwaukee drill I had apart, uh, also takes the exact same part number. You see that these brushes are also worn right out. So, um, yeah, so it should be pretty easy to replace. I think uh, you just pop this brush holder off, and then um, you see these wires. Just go to the switch. So uh, we'll get some we'll get some connectors and crimp them on to go to the switch, or uh, we'll cut it and just splice it into the existing wires. Oh, damn, I thought these were uh, like spade connectors, but the wire is actually just soldered right onto the tab. So, uh, given that, I think it's actually going to be easier to just cut these wires and then solder. I may not be like the greatest soldering guy in the world, but it'll do the job. I turned up the temperature just a little bit on the Heiko. Well, I'll turn it up and then I turned it down. I had it at 590 and it wasn't flowing quite well enough. So then I turned it up to 690 and it seemed like it was burning everything. So now I've got it at 650. And we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, see, I keep getting like the whole bottom part. Oh, you can't see. Uh, it's hard to show you because this whole thing is just flipping over. But to me, like the whole bottom half of the joint is like not soldered. Works for me. Zoom you back out. Might have cut the wires too long this time. You can see that commutator is, eh, can you see it? The commutator is a little bit um, concave. I don't know, it's not too bad. I've worked with worse. Fuck. 
Not sure if there's an easier way to do this. There you go. Seems to be the part I always have trouble with. Uh, yeah. Made these wires too long and now I'm having trouble trying to fit this whole shit back together. God damn it. Always. Always gotta have a fucking problem. Ah, well, this thing is giving me a headache. It all doesn't want to line back up now, and I cut those wires for the brush assembly too long. But um, I think I can just squeeze it all back together now, so good shot here. Get this stupid long wire up out of the way. Don't want to go back and just try and make that one wire shorter because I'm worried that if I do that, that I'll end up with not enough length left in that wire since I have to cut it more. That's why I'm just trying to make it work as is. And now this stupid switch seems like it doesn't want to seat all the way in the housing. And once again, as always with these fucking tools, this stupid fucking housing just doesn't want to go back together like it should. Always something not fucking seating right. Well, it took a bunch of fucking around, cussing, but managed to get it all back together. And this wrench should be good to go now. It's amazing, man. It just shows like <laughs> the throwaway society that we live in. This tool, when it was new, probably cost somebody 
like, I don't know. What does impact drivers go for new? 150 bucks. Maybe at the low end, 100 bucks. Probably more than that, though. And they use it, and eventually it stops working. And this person, $150 tool, stops working. They're too lazy to take a minute, try and fix it. $2.79. That's what this part cost me. But that's because I had it imported from China. At, it's an aftermarket one. Bought it off of eBay. If you buy the OEM one, OEM Milwaukee, shipped from here in America, probably also made in China, cost you like 13 bucks with shipping. So rather than take 15, 20 minutes to take the tool apart, figure out that it needs brushes, and get a $13 part and then maybe spend another 45 minutes fixing it. What do they do? <laughs> they just throw it away? Or Sell on eBay for parts, twenty dollars. That's how much I paid for this whole driver. And they buy a new <laughs> impact driver for another hundred fifty bucks. And I know their time is not worth that much, so oh well. And I mean, you can buy these cheap used, like. I bet you I could probably sell this for like 40 bucks working. But people would rather just have the new one. Uh, let's make sure it works now. And that whole speech. There you go. Oh, whoops. Forgot to tighten uh, these parts. Screws, probably kind of important. Ugh. Whoops, drop those down there. All right, well, there you go, it works. Good as used. If you stuck with me through this whole video, thanks for watching.